Say hi. 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 Hello. Hi. Hey, Justin Bieber. Thank you for talking about me. I'm not old. Yeah, I'm not. You're not. Yes. Right. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, when you want to solve an inequality, we're going to solve this in graph, all right? To do this, the main important thing I want you to do is forget about the inequality sign. Just forget it exists right now, and let's just go back to solving equations, all right? Now, I know it's been a while since we learned how to solve two-step equations, but remember, two-step equations, we follow very, very important rules. The first thing to do is to always undo what's happening to your variable, right? So we need to figure out what's our variable. Well, our variable is p. Then I need to say, well, there's two numbers that are on the side of p, right? On this side of the equation side. We have a 2 and a 7. Now, I need to know what is my 2 and my 7 doing to my variable? What operations? It's either adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing, right? So I look at this, I say, well, 7 is adding to my variable, and the 2 is dividing by my variable. Right? So we always, here's the first step, always undo addition and subtraction first. So I need to undo addition of a positive 7. So to undo that, I'm going to subtract 7 on both sides of the equation system. So 7 minus 7 is 0. So now I'm left with p over 2 equals 3. So now I need to undo division by 2. So to undo division by 2, I need to multiply by 2. P equals 6. Okay? Now, the last thing you need to do is, once you have it done, you need to plug back in your original inequality sign. And remember, there was one step, here that we had is, remember, if you multiply or divide by a negative number, you had to flip the sign, right? So I go back and look through my steps. Did I multiply or divide by a negative number? No. So I'm just going to plug it back the way it was. So now I do a number line. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a nice big dot at 6. Then I pick a point to the left, and I pick a point to the right. And then you plug those numbers into your inequality. So 1 less than or equal to 6. 6 less than or equal to 6, and 7 less than or equal to 6. Is 1 less than or equal to 6? Yes. Yeah. Yes, that's true. So you shade in your little point, and you say true. Is 6 less than or equal to 6? Yes. yes. Put a true, shade in your big point. Is 7 less than or equal to 6? False. I'll wait. Therefore, now we know that since it's true to the left of my point, all points are going to be true to the left. So we shade it to the left. Okay? And that's it. So when you have a two-step equation, just make sure you set it equal and just follow your two-step operations to solve for that. Alright? Yes. There you go. Mm -hmm.